All right, well, they're as mad as hell, and they are not going to take it anymore. And, of course, I'm talking about retail investors who continue to fight against, uh, against all the odds, against the billions of dollars of power and influence of hedge funds. Their goal is simply to make the system fair. Occupy SEC 2023 has a bunch of those folks. They've all gathered from all over the country. They're in Washington, D.C. today and tomorrow. And joining us live from the protests, uh, Occupy SEC 2023, the organizer, Mike Miner. Mike, uh, listen, uh, I, I know you, you don't represent all the apes and all the individual investors out there. You're just a, a Marine who's trying to do the right thing, and I applaud you for it. Tell us what the main issues are. Well, Charles, you know, um, there's a lot of things that's happened in this market, you know, and we've been here. I've been here for a couple of years. We just see what these hedge funds, these banks and institutions are doing to us. Um, it's not a fair market. It hasn't been a fair market for any of us retail investors. You know, frankly, we've just fed up. We're tired of it and we want to see change happen. And so that was a part of me getting together and, you know, gathering up and start talking about it about five or six months ago. And we need to get out here. We need to get boots on the ground. And that's exactly what we're doing out here. We probably got 75, 80 people out here, Charles. Yeah, no, I love the idea of boots on the ground. Here's the thing. You talked about these hedge funds. So yesterday, South Korea imposed a $10 million fine on Citadel. They said they disrupted their market with high frequency algorithms. Citadel made $16 billion last year. And I just wonder, do you believe the, the Securities and Exchange Commission will ever do more then maybe uh, levy an occasional fine uh, when it comes to these folks and make the excuses like they have been. Well, that's exactly what they're doing. And, you know, our hopes is, is, you know, we want to, what I want to call lobby, and we, all of us out here, want to lobby against Congress, lobby against the SEC, because there's things that they can do. There's things that they have the access and the power to do. And that's why we're here, because one of the things is we want to see Congress put together a team of people that will actually investigate this, maybe put in some rules and regulations back into place that can stop the stuff that you just talked about, Charles. And it's only going to start with us demanding that. Have you, uh, I mean, boots on the ground are phenomenal. It works a lot. You know, they always say, call your congressperson. Well, when you show up to someone's doorstep, they really pay attention. What are some of the other things, though, that you're trying to do in terms of organizational-wise? Because I feel like when I look through social media as a hodgepodge here and there, every now and then they start arguing with each other. And I'm sitting back saying to myself, Ken Griffin is smoking a big Cuban cigar laughing at everyone because you're not organized enough. Well, that's, you're exactly right. Well, one of the things that was put into the community since I've been around, Charles, I've been around in the community with you. I saw you from the beginning. I want to say, first off, thank you for supporting us. Uh, but the biggest thing that was the unity. You know, people weren't, they weren't, they weren't put together. You know, like we weren't united and there was a lot of separation. We were told that we couldn't unite together. And I think that's the biggest thing um, the hedge funds, the banks, the politicians have done is kept us divided. Right. And are, are one you... of the biggest reasons I wanted to do. I'm sorry, Mike. I was going to say that one of the biggest reasons. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. One of the biggest reasons I wanted to even do Occupy SEC 23, uh, 2023 was to bring people together from all different communities of different yeah. stocks out there and let them know that we can unite. Yeah. That was the whole purpose of this. Well, keep it going. Get a little bit more organized. Uh, you know, stop all the infighting. Write some letters and keep doing this. They'll hear your voice sooner or later. Thanks, Mike, and, keep, and good luck with that. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you so much, Charles, and thank right. you for taking the time.